Here we are, version 1.1.3. We knew it was coming eventually, folks, and it has patched a lot of the glitches. Of course, this is going to be the first glitch video for version 1.1.3 of something that is useful, something that you can use and have a mess around with and play and do whatever you want and experiment too. This video is going to show you guys how to do the no clipping glitch in 1.1.3 because they have made a couple of tweaks and changes. So let's have a look at how it's done. Now, using this, you're going to be able to get to the post game area, all of it, with only three three badges and I'll show you how. Let's go. So again, if you've seen my previous video, we're going to be doing it in the same place as before. Being here in Pastoria City, we're going to go to the bottom left and exit the city here. And we're going to go down to the trees just outside the city, right through the grass, right beside this Pokeball, which I believe is TM Toxic. And we're going to get on our bike right here. Now, this tree is problematic. Now, you can go through this tree as well as a couple of different po points if you've been following my videos. And I think they did patch this tree. I ain't going to lie. I think they did patch this tree. However, it's still doable, okay? So they haven't fully patched it. It just seems to be a little harder to get through. But if you can just tweak yourself down a little down, down to the left and get through the left side of this tree right here and just keep tapping until you feel your your, po your character kind of moving in you'll start to kind of get a little more comfortable about going through the trees and uh this time unlike last time where you kind of hit left and uh, down and left you're going to be hitting more down this time if you can so more directly down will get you through the tree eventually and uh, it does take longer. That's why I think it ha they've patched it. It used to be much easier to go through this. So I think they tried patching it, but they failed. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible, but uh, you're just going to have to try and get through. So the important things to know about this is being on your bike, being on the fast setting, okay? And going down the left side of the tree, and you'll see your character barely move in. So just keep trying until you get through. This, of course, is one of the ways to get in. There are easier ways, like I showed, which will require you to have surf, and you can do on 212. If you guys didn't see that, you can go check my testing uh, or checking for glitches for 113 video. So I'll see you guys once we're actually through these trees. Just give me a second. Okay, so we're going through now, and uh, as I can show you guys, this is version 113, okay? Now, uh, my recommendation for doing this effectively or efficiently, if you're looking at the Joy-Con, guys, you want to hit it the lower left. I know my thing is mirrored, okay? So, pretend it's not mirrored. <laughs> it's just going to be lower left. Kind of keep flicking it like that until you get to the trees. That angle, okay? That direction. So lower left part, okay? That's what you want to do until you get through the trees. And like I said, guys, this is definitely an attempted patch at this point. This is a much harder to get through than the other places. Now, once we're through, we can go to the post game. We can go anywhere we want. So we cannot use our menu, and that's normal. It's the same as before. And in order to get to the post game, it's going to be a mix of a lot of exploring the blackness. You want to try and follow the map as best you can where you imagine it's going to be. So we can use our Poketch. We can use our Poketch and we can open the fly menu. That's one way to get out if you want. But you can have a look at where we are on the map. I don't know why it says I'm in Orberg City, but I actually left from Pastoria. So you want to kind of imagine yourself in the blackness going around the map here because you're going to be going this direction and you're going to come to this area here and you're going to have to go left again. And you want to try and maneuver your way up to Eterna City. You'll probably be coming from the left of Eterna City, somewhere around here. And you'll be able to go right through Eterna City and right through Celestic Town and Route 210. And if you just keep going all the way over, you'll end up hitting the Pokemon League. And you'll be able to go north into the post-game area from there. So once the areas are loaded, you will be able to fly. And like I said, you need the third gym badge at least so you can fly there. So let's go ahead and try and do that right now. I know a lot of people did request a full video on the path I took before. So I'm going to try and give that to them right now. See if we can try and make it happen. It's a little difficult to always get it correct and the pathing to always be correct. We just have to gauge as best we can where we're going. And actually, you guys have to imagine as well that you're actually, because you're going in straight lines, it's actually not that very, it's not that far at all to go all the way over here. So what I just did was I came this way, I went up here straight away, and then we're, we're kind of passed through here now. So I'm probably similar to where I am, probably about around north of Orberg City right now. If I keep going a little bit more, hopefully... Oh, I hit a wall. Okay, so let's go north. Let's go north here as best we can. I'm hitting walls here, so that's a good sign. If you're hitting walls, it means you're still in, like, civilization, right? So just keep going north as best you can. So now, hopefully soon, 
We're gonna be coming up to... Yeah, we're gonna be coming up to around a turn of city, maybe a turn of forest area. So let's keep going. Let's keep going here. That might do it. And let's try a hard right. Okay. You kind of have to gauge by feeling. And now I know Eterna City is not far from here. So there's some rain that just appeared there. That was a good sign. You see the rain right there? Let's go right now. Or it's just always been raining actually, hasn't it? That's okay. We should be in an okay area. Let's keep going right here. And if we hold right, hopefully we're going to hit uh, loading zones. Okay. There's a wall. That's a good sign too. There's a good sign. Let's go down here. This is probably uh, Mount Coronet. This is probably where we are right now. If we look at the map, we're probably around here. And this this whole little dotted line, it's almost like all of it, is a wall. Okay, almost. But there are ways through. So we have to try and find the way through. Let's keep going. Let's keep searching. You can tell you're not moving, by the way. It's the same as hitting a wall when you're in the overworld and you can see everything. It's, it's the same. You can tell when you're not moving and you can tell when you are moving, so... There we go. So, okay, we made it to Salacian Town. That's not where I expected to be. I guess we went too far right, but here we are. So now, moving from Salacian Town, we can still gauge our way around, okay? We can still get there to the Pokemon League. We can actually get to Veilstone City too. So let's try that one. Let's go ahead and go up. If we can, if we can find a way up. But yeah, Salacian Town's an awkward one, in, in all honesty. You do have to find your way out to the path. So now I'm going to go a little more up here and hopefully find my way to Veilstone and then from there we'll be able to find our way to the Pokemon League. Honestly, the post-game area is more valuable. You can't actually fly to the Pokemon League after loading it, but if you're at the Pokemon League it's very easy to get to the post-game area. So uh, we're just going to find our way out of here if I can. Alright, keep going. So at this point, for some reason, the map can start sloping, not uh, not straight, uh, actually start going diagonally, which is interesting. There is a weird diagonal area here, so I'm hitting lots of walls here. It's not the best positioning, but we can just keep going around them. As you can see, we got around it there eventually. So I'm not sure what we've been hitting in, but now we're out. Now they're out, we're probably all the way up north. We can go far, just direct right, and hopefully hit Veilstone or the Pokemon League, and we'll work our way from there. So let's just keep going here. Let's just have a look at the map, just to kind of gauge how much we cycled. Okay, there's probably still a bit to go. We... what did we do there? I mean, I'm not sure what we were hitting in this route, but we kind of went this direction. So we might have hit Celestic Town, we might have hit Route 210, maybe. Let's just keep going right. Okay, so I've kept going right and we hit walls. So that's probably a good sign. Let's go north now. Uh, let's keep going up. This is probably like the route or something close. This could even be, because we actually went right for quite a while, this could even be this area right here. Possibly. I think we went further right than this allows me, so we might actually be at the edge of the map here. Let's keep going up a bit. And if we keep going up, we could get lucky and hit the Shaman area too, so we'll be able to work our way from there too. Uh, we could go left even. We could try going a little left, see if we can load anything here. So like I said, guys, a part of the, the whole exploration here is exploration, right? You just gotta gotta keep trying, gotta keep probing around. Okay, we're hitting walls here. It's a good sign. I mean, it is a good sign. There it is. Route 227. There we go. That is a very good sign. Now, we, here we are. So, we did go much more north than I expected. But now that we're in this area, it's very, very easy to navigate our way through all these areas. And once we do, we'll be able to fly there. All right. So, let's go down a little bit. We're actually... What? We're getting encounters in here. Okay. <laughs> So my recommendation is for you guys to aim for this area right here and try and hope that you actually hit it. So technically you could go back if you hit too high, you could go back and you could go down and try to find these areas. They are pretty much connected. And once you load any of the zones, you will be able to fly to them, even with the three badges. They will load, except for the Pokemon Center at the Pokemon League part, okay? So we can just fly right out of where we are and we'll be able to just come to the area we loaded and have access to the post game. Now, once you do, since I've already done it, it's not going to be here. But once you do that, if you fly, fly here to the flight area with, with three badges, your rival's going to be here. The whole thing is going to be here and they're going to be blocking and they're going to have the regular team ready for the fight that you would normally have when you actually came here sailing. And if you went in here and you started doing other stuff, you'll be able to change the actual game's objectives and you could skip everything else in the game and go ahead and do your national decks 
and come back to Sandgem and get your national decks if you manage to get all the Pokemon and stuff like that. Uh, you could do all of that stuff, which is really kind of cool. You can also get the judge function straight away after three badges if you do manage to do all this stuff. So those are some of the uses that you have for doing the out of bounds glitch. Well guys, have fun with that in version 113. If you did manage to update and you just want to mess around with some glitches, have fun with it and I'll see you guys around. Don't forget to sub if you want to keep on top of all the new glitches because I promise there'll probably be more to come in 113. They did seem to miss all of these ones. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys around the next video. Till then guys, bye.